<laughs> okay. Welcome to Intune Training, the place to learn how to use Microsoft Intune, the Steve and Adam show. Oh, you're not Adam. You're ben. <laughs> I'm, I'm not Adam. You're you very here? astute, Steve. I thought it was I, supposed to be Adam. <laughs> yeah, uh, unfortunately. What am I doing Adam, yeah, no, I think he's sleeping outside with his uh, with his kids. I think he's maybe been kicked out of his house. I saw he was skydiving today too. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah interesting. Yeah. Hope he's okay. Yeah. Hope he had a parachute. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Actually, I don't. I don't think he did. So ah, well, way to find out. Anyway, a little, <laughs> little off track us. already. This is this is great. Sorry, for, sorry <laughs> about that for everyone. Okay. Uh, hey, Steve. I'm oh, sorry. It's you and me again. Uh, it is. What are we What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about uh, Android Work Profile. Sweet. Uh, what because is Android I've, Work Profile? I, I've been being, being pestered by somebody to actually do a demo on this <laughs> because they want to use it for their work environment and they want to be able to show a video. <clears throat> so, <laughs> so, so Work Profile on Android is it's the Android version or Google version of Knox. Okay. Uh, so Knox. For those who don't know, was part of Samsung, or is, part, uh, is a uh, profile in Samsung where you could turn off and turn it on depending on when you want to use it. Sure. Android for Android work profiles is now in the lower level of the OS, and what it allows us to do is basically have a little bubble that contains all of your work data that the admin can control, but the end user can turn on and off as they want, and it's not connected to any of their work emails. Um, or personal emails. So rather than having a single Outlook app with multiple email profiles in there, um, you only have you have two separate email applications. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. So and, the easiest way. and from the reading that we did um, a little bit before this call, it seems like uh, the, the the sort of Knox containerized uh, stuff has now been replaced with that lower level um, Android yep. work profile stuff, which is which is cool. It, it essentially means that Google's understood that that's a really good solution and they've co-opted it and made it the standard, which is exactly good for everyone. Yeah, it, it makes life ever easier for everybody. Um, so how about we just jump in and I quickly demo what we're going to do? Yeah, cool. I think that uh, is a good idea. So I'm just going to share my screen here. Let me know when you can see it. Got it. Cool. All right. So what we have here is our uh, MEMAC portal, uh, and we can see that we're sitting in the Intune training tenant. To set up the work profile, it's actually pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to select devices here on the left-hand side, and we're going to go under the device enrollment, we're going to select enroll devices. From here, if we go and select Android enrollment, and we scroll down, and what we're going to be playing with today is personally owned devices with work profile. Click on that because we'll typically we'd go in here to configure and it goes, actually, you don't need to do anything in here. Yeah, right. What we need to do is go and block Android device administration and enable Android Enterprise or Android for work personally owned devices with work right. profiles. So it's even easier than going in and setting up anything else. We go back to enroll devices we go to our enrollment restrictions and under here we go to all users so in our tenant we have device administration turned on and allowed for both mm -hmm. personal and platform so we're going to go and edit and when we go and edit we now see the android enterprise work profile so we're going to enable that we're going to make sure the personally owned uh, section is enabled and by uh, default and it's not right I believe so. Yeah, it okay. wasn't in our tenant. Yeah, sure. So we've, we've, we've already gone through, stepped this through and tested it, and we're just going and rehashing it here. And we're also going to turn off the Android Device Administrator. Android Device Administrator is a deprecated process. It's, it's I think, with Android 11 actually not supported anymore. Mm, okay. So it's something that uh, Google's walking away from or uh, moving to that Android Enterprise scenario. Cool. So... Let's hit review and save, and we're going to save that. And that's it. That's work profile setup. But it wouldn't be a good demo if we didn't actually show you the last part of it, setting it up on the device. So let me just switch over to my Android well, device. Actually, can we oh. can we quickly? We probably need to set some applications up. I was going to do that up. afterwards, but that's oh, okay. Yeah. 
we, we can go and do that now if you want. Yeah, let's um, do that. We're, all, we're all right. already in the portal. Let's just let's stay in the cool. portal. Can do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Applications, and uh, we're going to select Android. So we've already synchronized a whole heap of apps from the managed Google Play Store. It needs yep. to be from the managed Google Play Store. Make sure you do that. And then from here, we go and grab our application. So let's go and grab Front, which is an email client. And we're going to go to Properties, and we're going to make this required for managed devices. And we're not fully managing the device, we're managing that work profile. So if we're going to go add group here, we're going to add our sec group SH, which is my user account, review and save, and we're going to save. Nice. What we've also set up in here, and I'm going to just add another another application, which I really like, which is the managed home screen. We're going to go in here and we scroll down and we're going to go assignment. We're going to make this available. Because this is your choice, yeah, uh, or the user's choice of if they want to install it or not. Some people want it, some people don't. So this is where it gives us the ability to say must and available, and we'll see yeah. that in a second when we go and set up the phone on how that goes and appears on the device. Cool. Uh, the one thing that we're not going to go through, but you can do, uh, is the ability to go in and set up profiles and configurations. So you can go and do your app configuration um, in here. Yeah, your app and it'll go and configure that device uh, in yeah. that bubble. It's well and truly out of the scope of this call. Like at, yes. at this stage, essentially, we're just doing a, a, a let's call it a first walkthrough or first look at this. It's um, it's the proof of concept. Exactly, it's going to allow you to start that conversation of going. Well, this is what we can do. Yeah, cool. Um, cool. So now I'm going to step across to my phone. Um, which I'll bring up into my full screen. That was an amazing uh, transition, transition animation you had there. I thought so too. I quite like it. <laughs> um, Ben's giving me a little bit of grief because I'm playing around <laughs> with some fancy technology, um, but it is what it is. So the next step that we need to do is I'm just going to quickly show you. I don't have a company portal on here, so what we'll go and install is the company portal. Um, as you can see, I've already searched for it, and we're just going to enable it and open it. Evidently, it was already installed, <laughs> and I don't understand what it's doing here. So we're just restarting that profile because we didn't clean it up previously. Sure, sure. So now if we hit sign in, and we're going to quickly sign in here, and I'm going to go next, and just bear with me while I... Fade to black while I put in my password. <laughs> so we don't need to uh, do editing any editing at a later date. So that's gone through and it's now come up to the Intune training access setup. And you'll see that we now have on here um, that work profile. It's so it's explicitly saying, oh, Cool, we're on work profile, we're going to set that up. So we're just going to hit begin. Yeah. This is all the information that you um, that we have the ability to do. And we hit continue. I really and like how um, it specifically, just the, the verbiage of that screen, that the first thing that it says is what it will never have access to. Um, because I think, you know, um, I'm sure we're both, uh, uh, both have PTSD from the days of, the early days of mobile management and things like mobile lion and all those yeah, fun huh? things where, um, you know, especially with all the news stories that came out that like everyone could see your GPS location and all that sort of fun stuff. So, yep. you know, th this concept is essentially saying, we don't care if you're using a personal device, you do whatever you want with it. All yep. we're concerned about is this container that we're going to create that has all the corporate data. If you don't want it, you don't have to have it. It's, sure. it's, it's really that simple. But also, even if you make it mandatory in your company, it's not going to affect anything else that you do. It's just this little bubble. It's literally a virtual machine. It's a, yeah. it's a container application that runs these apps for you so that exactly. they never break that wall. Um, so I think it's really important. Yep. I, I completely agree. So we've got that set up work profile. You'll see down the bottom we have Samsung Knox privacy policy because this is a Samsung device. Mm -hmm. Um and we're just going to agree to that. So it's now going to go and create that work profile for us. And it will go and set it all up and allow us to do stuff. And it's sitting there and saying, see that little briefcase? That means that it's a work 
profile app. And what that means is you can actually drop these onto your start menu, which we'll show you in a second on how start that works. Menu. Yeah, start, yeah. start screen. Home screen. Home screen. Um, and you'll see down the bottom of this one, there's a little briefcase next to the continue button. Mm -hmm. Because what's actually happened is it's transitioned from personal profile company portal into business profile company portal. That's cool. Uh, all automatically. So previously that was a separate thing. You didn't have to re-authenticate and everything gotcha. like that. But it's so, passing that across. Yeah, so it's it's now doing that um, secure handoff to say, yep, it's all happy days. You can now authenticate and do everything you need. Awesome. So this will finish off setting up the work profile, which is reasonably quick because we're not doing a whole heap. Um, and also this phone's connected to our um, network here, physically cabled in. You'll see up the top, um in the tray uh there's actually a little briefcase here mm -hmm. that one there is telling us that the work profile is enabled on the device gotcha um and that's going to go and th step through that process so once we once it's all set up if we hit and turn off the work profile that will disappear yeah um so you'll see here we now have the separate apps for work and personal um that's pretty cool, in my opinion. What it does mean, though, is it's going to download the application twice. It has to be updated twice. Yeah. Two separate applications. You can have two different versions of the same application. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you look for the briefcase. And the last one's actually really, I think, cool mm -hmm. in that you have a separate Play Store inside the work profile. Yeah, so it's the that's, managed Play Store, yeah. That's correct. So if we hit got it, cool, we're all set up and you'll see that we want to open up the Google Play Store. If we go open, yeah. what we should see here is the three applications that I made available previously, mm -hmm. including our managed home screen. And I'm going to go, all right, I'm just going to go and install that. And it's worth pointing out, obviously, this is, I mean, it's exactly the same as Company Portal on a, a, on a Windows device or a, a laptop that uh, required apps don't show up. These are just the available apps. So this is where end users will self-serve. So you can put as many as you want in here um, and they will all be housed in that containerized ecosystem. Yep. And, and the cool thing about that is you'll see that the you might also like option only has those two applications because that's mm. the only other apps that we have available. That's really cool. Um, so while that's going through, I'm just going to go back to start uh, or home. Yep. And you'll see now when I go back to the app screen, it comes up and says, well, personal data is separate and hidden from work apps. Cool. And you'll see that work apps and data are only visible to your IT admin. That's so that really means cool. my IT admin can only see these apps. You'll see that front and Outlook have both installed successfully without any interaction along Edge with Edge. Through. Nice. So it's going to come through slowly, slowly, and go and connect all that through. Um, and you'll see here, here's our Google Play with the briefcase there. So for the alerts, you'll see that briefcase as well That's to great. say this is going and doing stuff. So it's super straightforward, super easy, and it just works. Um, and then at the end of the day, what you can do is if you go down here and slide across, you have that work profile that you can turn off. And we now have the icons being gray. So, so this is why I want this. Now, I, I know I know that almost everyone that is watching this video has probably dealt with uh, accidentally or, you know, just by the proxy of what we do as a job, over exerting themselves and spending too long looking at emails, replying to emails out of work hours. Yep. This logic and this idea of uh, work profiles is, yes, it's good for IT admins and for businesses to control data, but for a, a an employee, this literally allows you to turn work off so that you cannot get access to uh, your corporate yep. emails or Teams notifications or things like that. Um, in a in a pure Android play, like not using Samsung, um, natively right now, I do believe it's uh, possible to set up schedules to turn this on and off based on certain times throughout the day. Um, so you can literally go, it hits 6, 6 p.m. at night, I'm not getting Teams notifications, which... Yep is insane i like this is this is first of all this is why i wanted to do this video because i want this uh I, I work for a company that's got people all over the world 
Yep. Um, so do I. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it essentially means that if I don't have this stuff set up, then I get notifications at like two in the morning, you know? So I yes, just want, yeah, I just want this stuff to be turned off when I'm asleep uh, so that I can, you know, sort of not think about work. And I just think this is amazing. Yeah, it, it's it's the, you've woken up at 2 a.m., you're going to quickly look at your phone to see what's going <laughs> on. And now it's six. And yeah, and, and you're like, oh, I can't get back to sleep because I saw this mission critical email that's come through. Mm-hmm. Whereas as soon as you have work profile, it's not there. You're not thinking about it. You don't even, you're not tempted. Exactly. Um, what happens and, and if that, you try to, what happens if you try to open an app that's uh, that with work profile off? It asks you if you want to turn it on. Right. Okay, cool. And cool. it'll go turn on and it'll go back to colored. Gotcha. And it'll go and load up the app and you'll see that we haven't set that up. And this that's comes cool. down to that whole conversation where we said, you can go and deploy your configuration app as well. So they'll auto configure. Yeah, cool. So, and you know, while we were playing around with this before we actually hit record, um, we did notice that obviously uh, Google themselves in the Android ecosystem has concepts like this uh, outside of the sort of the managed space uh, called digital well-being. Um, yes. So in theory, like, you know, if, if you weren't actually utilizing this, you could set up digital well-being and sort of block applications and things like that. But the real benefit here is that, uh, I mean, first of all, the applications are in this containerized store, so you've got all that security and, and sort of structure around that. Um, but you just need to turn one thing off and all of those apps disappear. Um, yeah, exactly. I think that's And that's, that's the big one, right, is it automatically will turn off that work profile. It makes your life so much easier. Um, and if it's too hard to go across one, what you can actually do here is go yeah just pin it edit buttons grab the work profile drag it across put it up the top near your bluetooth and now if i go home it's there i can just press that button and it's off and i bet there's all sorts of fun routines that you can set up if you're fully in the the uh the android ecosystem uh, oh, where you know you could probably ask ask your uh, robot concierge to turn these things on or off for you or set it on a date. It's, I, uh, yeah, I just think this is amazing. And I, I know 100% what I'm going to be doing after this call. I bet you will. Um, so, yeah, that's that's it. That's that's how easy it is to set up work profile. It's actually pretty straightforward from an end user experience. If they're already enrolled into uh, Intune, they'll be asked to unenroll and re-enroll. Gotcha, because it's changing. Um, yep. Yeah, context. Sure. Okay, that I mean that's fantastic, um, and I can't believe how easy that was. I literally uh, have only just seen this today, um, and that was so fast. Um, yeah, yep. I just think this is great. Everyone should do it if you haven't already. Um, play around with this stuff immediately. Yes, definitely. And then on the back end, what you're actually seeing is uh, this: is you'll see that device has now appeared here. It's going to pop up as an Android for work. Mm -hmm. It's saying that it is a personal device, it's compliant, um, because you can still do compliance policies over the top to make sure it's all secure. Yep. Um, you've got our serial number if you need it for reference. Um, so for compliance here, it's actually using just the built-in because we don't have an Android compliance policy today. Sure. Um, same with device config, there shouldn't be anything there, but you yep. can actually push certificates into that store. Nice. And it stays inside the work profile. And that's probably mm. the part that we didn't drill into. Mm. But with Edge being there, we can have it so when you get a link inside that profile, you can have a VPN into your corporate network and do what you need to do in that profile itself that's and really not cool. outside it. Um, when you step into Defender, you can make it so it stays inside that container as well. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so here we have our managed apps. And you can see that it's installed not installed it's all gotcha. tracked and we can see everything that's going on there nice yeah i think it's pretty cool personally yeah definitely as i said i mean <laughs> I'm, I'm immediately going to go and set this up uh, for myself um yep. so <laughs> anyone i work with uh that wants to that wants to play around with this you know <laughs> you know where i am <laughs> <laughs> yes yes indeed Awesome. Well, I think we can leave it at that, Ben. Um, yeah, sure. I think sweet. that was pretty straightforward. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Good work, awesome. Steve. Thanks, Ben. Cool. And we'll uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.